Today we're going to be learning how to use a solenoid valve with an Arduino. Hello, I'm CJ Windish and welcome to Tinker and Build. Today we're going to learn how to use a solenoid valve with an Arduino to control the flow of water. Here's our solenoid valve from Amazon. We need a 12 volt power supply to run this thing since the Arduino isn't powerful enough to drive it. We'll be turning it on and off using a relay module. Click here to see our video on how to use the relay board. We'll take our 12 volt DC power supply and cut off the barrel jack. Let's test it and make sure the valve works first. Hear that click? That's the valve opening when power is applied. You'll notice the arc that happens when we touch the wires. That's a problem. The arc is actually caused by back EMF as the solenoid coil collapses its magnetic field. If we hook this up to our relay, we'll fry our relay circuitry. Trust me, I tried this and I burned through a couple relay boards. An inductor coil's voltage is proportional to the derivative of the current going through it. When a relay clicks off and the current stops flowing, the change in current rapidly goes from full current to zero current. This makes for a very large negative change in current in a short period of time. By Ohm's law for an inductor equation, we'll have a voltage spike that can damage circuitry not designed to handle a large voltage connected to the solenoid valve coil. This is where the back EMF comes from. To solve the back EMF problem with coils, standard practice is to connect a snubber diode across the coil. Also known as a flyback diode, this diode is connected from the positive side of the coil to the negative side. That is, the cathode connects to the positive wire of the coil, the white strip faces positive, and the anode connects to the negative wire. By wiring this diode in parallel, you'll notice that when positive current flows through the solenoid, it can't go through the diode, so essentially the diode is removed from the circuit. However, once the relay clicks off and current is disconnected, our solenoid valve has a voltage spike in the opposite direction. Remember, it was a negative voltage according to the inductor equation. And at this point, instead of the voltage going to the negative wire, it will loop through the snubber diode and loop around until it is dissipated. Thus, the snubber diode protects the rest of the circuit from the voltage spikes. The wires coming out of the valve are too thick to go into the breadboard, so we're going to have to do some soldering. Let's solder on the diode to either end of the valve. Make sure to put the white strip of the diode on the positive wire. Since the valve is just a coil, it doesn't really matter which wire you treat as positive but it will matter when you hook it up to the DC power supply. Now let's test it again with the DC power. Notice that the arcing is now gone. That's the snubber diode doing its job. We'll solder on two male to male jumper wires so we can easily connect the solenoid circuit to the relay. Next we'll hook up the relay to control the current through the solenoid. Be sure to unplug everything before making connections. The positive wire from the DC power supply, the red wire, goes into the normally open screw terminal. The positive wire from the solenoid diode goes to the common screw terminal. Double check that that's the wire soldered to the white strip of the diode. Now connect the negative wire of the solenoid valve to the negative wire of the power supply. And we're done! Here is the simple test sketch for the Arduino. It just cycles the solenoid on and off via the relay, which is active low. Now compile and upload. And there it is. The solenoid clicks on and off from the control of the Arduino.